Hello, what's up YouTube? Today I'm coming with a story about this little deaf kitten that happened to cross our way on the street. And since we saw it was very weak and looked hungry, we put it in a box and took it with us. Gave it a, a bath, proper clean and fed it. And uh, yeah, when then we noticed it uh, does not react to any sounds. So we looked into his ears and uh, we found we found some black s substance in both ears. It looked very dirty, so I, I took the virgin oil, warmed it up under running water and poured into his ears. Left it there for some time, about five minutes to make the oil its way through the dirt. And then uh, it started coming out and when we saw uh, trying to shake it off I just helped him I helped him and uh, as you can see that it looked really bad the dirt uh, we took the cat later to, to the vet and it turned out it was a very bad ear infection uh, now we had to make a decision because with two dogs in the house one Jack Russell and one wolf dog both hating cats I'm willing to kill them any time they see one. It was the hard one, but uh, before we could make the decision, our Jack Russell just walked into the bathroom out of nowhere and uh, met the kitten for the first time. And uh, to our surprise, he did not react like always when he see a cat. And here you can see his reactions. He just smelled it. They walked out of the bathroom together, wandering around the room. Although it did look a few times he as if Jerry wanted to go for a bite but he was very gentle little Oliver yeah that's what we call the kitten now Oliver and yeah they became a friend later and when it was bedtime <laughs> Oliver was trying to get into Jerry's bed uh, but it, he did not succeed and anyway we would not let them stay together for the first night as we did not want to risk it. But what about our Benny, the wolf dog? The one who can't withstand any cats or dogs near him? Well, it took at least two weeks until we could let him to get really close to Oliver. He was just all jumping and climbing all over us anytime he saw us holding the kitten. Uh, but as the time went by, he realized Oliver is uh, now a member of our family and he became his shadow. Anywhere where Oliver goes, uh, there goes Benny. And uh, there, there, I'm sure there will be no neighbors or street cats trespassing to our garden for territorial fights, uh, which happens quite often in our street. Uh, because uh, Oliver's got his uh, two bodyguards and uh, the dogs became very protective and won't let it happen. They follow him anywhere and any suspicious sound or mood they are always there for him. Uh, they explore together, they play together and uh, they even uh, share the food together. As you can see they became good friends and I have to say this little cat is giving us so much fun but also love. He loves to cuddle, he loves to sneak under the blanket when we're watching TV. He's always hungry and keep begging for food together with Jerry, but he's so cute and we are so glad we gave him a new home. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.